So if I had to make a thousand dollars in seven days, here's exactly what I would do. And this may not be your traditional advice. Uh, I've personally made six figures from so many different things that have this unique perspective of what you know I would do for beginners versus someone who already has a brand. And so I'm gonna give you two different businesses and these will help you if you need to make a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars in the next seven days, maybe two weeks, three weeks, or a month. And this comes from someone who's built a million dollar business. I've done so many different things. I've done affiliate marketing. I made multiple six figures in, in affiliate marketing. I've made multiple six figures in agency, multiple six figures in uh, courses, multiple six figures in coaching. And in a combined value and actual cash collected in all of them, I think we're crossing two million now. So I'm saying this from experience. I'm saying this as someone who uh, has uh, done them tried them at different levels. And so I've seen kind of like where I tried one thing in the beginning and it didn't work. And I'm sharing this with you so that you'll have my perspective and you can avoid my mistakes, right? Because if you start the wrong business, you're gonna be like, man, why isn't it working? Why am I not getting my first payments, my first sales coming in? Um, and if you're doing it wrong, but you have the right model, you're still doing the wrong thing. And so you're still like getting paid. And if you need to make money in seven, 14, 21, 30 days, you have to know the right business model. You have to know the right strategy to go and get those uh, sales. So I'm gonna give you all of those in this video. And um, the first thing I would say is everyone here watching have their own unique experiences. So um, you have experiences from your life so far you have unique skills because you have different passions and typically a lot of times you'll develop the skill that fits your passion to some extent, right? So if you're a creative person, so that we, we go into experience versus uh, personality and character trait. If you're a creative person, then some of your passions could be building stuff. And so if you, let's say you were to, to do web design, uh, and if I said you should do web design, you, you might be like, well, I'm not a designer. No, but you're, you've always been like the, the type in your friends group or in your family who is making, you know, paintings, drawings, you're building stuff with your hands, you're uh, creating stuff from scratch because you're a natural problem solver or you're a natural, just someone who takes stuff and creates something out of it, out of thin air. Now, some of you, when I say that, you, you're like, nah, that's not, that's not me at all. And maybe you're the type of person who, you're more the organization, the organizational type of person who makes sure that everything is tidy. You're always making sure that uh, things are taken care of. It's up to date. You never wanna be late. You're always on time. Um, you're not a time optimist. You're always on time because to you, uh, balance and just tidiness matters. And so you might be someone who is way off better being, you know, way better off being a project manager or in a leadership position. Now, some of you, when, when you know, you were thinking about web design, when I said that, you're like, nah, I like numbers, you know? And so for you, <clears throat> let's say I said, oh, you should definitely go and be a copywriter uh, or a funnel builder or a web designer. Um, you thought, well, that's, no, I don't want to do that. I, d I just want to close deals. I am the CEO and I hate all the creative stuff because I'm not creative. It, I struggle with creating stuff. So then you <clears throat> would typically be someone who is better off uh, doing analytical work and maybe more data crunching, ads management. Um, you typically want to be more Yes, you do problem solving, but it's more like how much are we getting? Okay, how much are we allocating in this budget towards this uh, role? Uh, how much does it cost us to acquire a customer? What about the upsells? What's the conversion rate? What's the total, the average cart value? What's the lifetime value per customer? This and that, right? And you love those numbers. I can tell you as someone who's a funnel builder and a sales funnel expert, I've built 600 funnels now and I hate numbers. I don't care about numbers. I don't, I rarely track sales. I make sure we make a couple thousands per day and I'm good. I don't care about numbers because I'm a creative type of person. And so for me, if I had to go and make, you know, a thousand dollars in seven days, 
I would find a market, and here's the, the key part. I would find a market that is already buying something right now within the, the creative space. And then I would, you know, I would do kind of like an analysis by comparison and say, okay, I'm going to be creative, but I'm going to be able, uh, I'm going to pick a market where I'm able to charge high ticket. Because what would you rather do? Get one client for a thousand dollars or get 10 clients for a hundred dollars. Typically what you'll find is when you have one client who pay you a thousand dollars, they'll be like, amazing, thank you. And then if you have a, you know, 10 clients who pay a hundred dollars, they're like, yeah, can you make a, few, make a few tweaks here, make it pop more, make it pop and you won't enjoy it. So then you'll be like, oh, I guess I'm not a creative person. No, it's that, that's not actually the, the reality at all. It's just whoever you loaned your creativeness to abused it. And that's very deep when you've been in that situation and you've tried it out and you're like, uh, I don't know if I like this business, but in reality, it's just, if you had the right client, if you had someone who respected you and, and who appreciated you, how many of you want to be appreciated for what you do? I just get paid, but actually feel like, man, I'm a part of something important. I'm, I'm doing something that matters, right? All of you, every single person, you're like, if I could make a thousand dollars per day, that'd be 30,000 a month. I don't have to be a millionaire as long as I can just make good money and be appreciated for what I get to do. And so that's the, that's the, that's the market that I would pick. For you, it could be something else. So ask yourself, which one would I naturally fall into based on my personality? Is it the analyst? Is it the uh, operational guy? Is it the creative? Is it the leadership? Or is it the CEO? Is it the salesperson? Um, I know um, a few of my friends who are really good at just communicating and they're really good at selling but they're not a closer. They're not a hard, uh, a hardcore closer where there would be you know, a lot of objections and, and you know, that sort of stuff. But naturally they're just kind of like curious. So they would be a good salesperson and close deals, um, not because of some sales training, but just because they would be like, oh, how come you're not doing this thing that you said you wanted to do? Oh, okay, well, talk to me a little bit more, uh, a little bit more about this issue that you're having. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Have you tried this? Okay, why do you think that didn't work for you? And it would be like this back and forth communication, sales dialogue, just naturally for them. And they would, if they could choose between designing, writing, or filming or creating versus talking and meeting people, they'd take that all day. And I would be like, no, I love the creating, you know, the creative style and the creative business. And at one point I was just like, I just want to make six figures doing creative work. And I did that. And then I was like, I love giving back. And so now I'm like, I just want to make seven figures doing what I love. And so everything uh, that I'm doing, I want it to feel natural. I want it to feel, that's why these videos are very like simple, no editing and nothing because I just, I love creating. I don't love forcing, if that makes a lot of sense. So. Um, now I have a seven figure business and I'm very grateful. I get to be in a position where I haven't sacrificed my sanity. I haven't sacrificed my, uh, well-being or mental health for the thing that I started the business for in the beginning, which is freedom. So I told you, I'm going to give you two different businesses. So one would be, uh, you know, the, the freelance, uh, economy or the service solutions where you pick one market and uh, it's very easy to find these people as well. And I like to look at communities, not just how can I get clients? So if I find a community on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on uh, Instagram, on, uh, on school, uh, free communities, paid communities, if I find the communities, I can find the people. If they're paying for something that is already super valuable, they have a problem that is painful, uh, the market is growing and it's a trendy market and I can reach them. I can message them one-on-one. -on -one. Now I don't have to spend money on ads. You're not risking your family savings or your own savings. Uh, you might be 17. You're like, what family savings? Um, <clears throat> and so you're able to message them and you're able to hear. So here's the key part. I'll give you this as well. Uh, imagine if you just do the first one for free. So you're like, I design thumbnails for you. I edit videos. I uh, build websites. I 
create sales pages for you. I create landing pages. I build sales funnels for uh, creators. And I'm happy to do the first one for you for free. No strings attached. Um, no commitments required. I don't even need you to send me anything. I'll just find what you have online already. Sound good? Question mark. Send that to 100 people, 20 per day. This week, I promise you, you'll get the first one for free. And then you can say, by the way, do you need any more of this? Is there any other way I can help you? <clears throat> do you need another one? So uh, what I also look for is things that they'll need every single month. So not every day necessarily. Um, I don't want to run their ads where I do things every single day and optimize and I, they depend on me. But if I, if I uh, sell something and they need another one next month, I'm good, right? So if I build a homepage, they need a lead funnel, an opt-in funnel the next month. Great. If they need, even just every second month, they need something. So if they need a, an event funnel, a course funnel, an application funnel, waiting list funnel, homepage, and they need six funnels throughout the year, and I charge uh, 3.5K on average because some would be seven, some 5K, some 3K, depending on big or small. And on average, five times six, it's 30, uh, well, I said 3.5K. So let's say 3K, six funnels, 18K. That's recurring revenue, 1,500 a month for 12 months. That's 18,000. So recurring revenue is typically just selling them more stuff that they want or need. So same thing with uh, thumbnails. Uh, with video editing. And here's a, uh, a bonus nugget for you as well. Imagine when you're selling something that they enjoy, they need it, they like it, but the reason for them not accelerating at it is because of this other follow-up sequ- uh, follow problem. It's like the second order consequences and the problems of that. So I'll explain what I mean. If you're selling video editing, but they're not filming enough videos, you won't have enough projects, right? But if you're selling something and you say, guess what I'll do for you free included for now, because you need a thousand dollars in the next seven days, right? That's why you click this video. Uh, maybe you need 10,000 in 30 days, even better. This works for you too. First one for free. Then you say, okay, what's holding you back from doing more videos? I will actually find videos, uh, video ideas and sell the, se- uh, send you the title and a couple bullet points that I found from my research. Now I'm not just a video editor i'm a growth partner i help you grow therefore i'm super valuable i'm harder to to get replaced think about ai what it'll do to the space jobs being taken businesses lost uh, offers being devalued and you say guess what i'll do i will just do that for you as well and include it so i know editors who also do thumbnails great i'm a funnel builder and i do funnel design strategy offer copy automation, everything start to finish. So now I help creators monetize. So how much more valuable is that than designing a landing page? That's why I charge 5,000, 7,000, 10,000. I've had a client where I charge 36,000. So I've had clients where I charge 10,000 per month and I wasn't just full-time with them. I was able to have other clients as well. Make, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 solo without a team. And then with a theme, you're able to scale above 50,000 uh, in a month. And I've done that as well. So that's where you find kind of where you wanna, where you wanna be. But um, so you pick a market this big, you make sure you're able to reach them, offer the first one for free. You find second order consequences as problems. Like, okay, because you're doing this social media marketing, uh, short form videos, whatever it is, uh, but you're struggling, I'll actually do the whole thing for you. Edit, strategy, uh, branding. I'll help you with your backdrop, your camera gear. I'll tell you where, where you can optimize because maybe you wanna have a brand like this person. I'll come up with ideas for you. Just become like this like side-by-side type of person, this growth partner with them. Uh, almost like a CMO. If you look at a chief marketing officer role, their role is to help grow the company and sometimes even just be the CMO and outsource things to people to do their specific roles. So now you can charge more. I have uh, students in my, and clients and members of, of my programs and Inner Circle and One One Coaching where they are able to go from being a freelancer to an agency to a growth partner and a CMO where they charge uh, five-figure deals and uh, percentage of sales because 
they're a CMO, not just a freelancer. But everyone has to start somewhere. You can't be a growth partner um, and offer, you know, promise the world if you've never done anything. So if you need to make a thousand, do the first one for free. Something that's very simple that you can learn on YouTube or you can learn in a program, meaning you can learn it in a weekend. Imagine if you, if you can watch something, you can copy what they're doing. Meaning if you have a mentor, you can just copy what they tell you to do. Imagine what you can get done in a weekend versus having to go, you know, four years and study somewhere. That's crazy to me in terms of the economy and job market today. Uh, Cause you can start any business by just learning how to do something and then offer it for free, build a portfolio by uploading the work they did for free and ask them if they need more stuff and ask them what was holding them back from doing more of it. Why do you launch another funnel, a front end, a back end, a low ticket, a high, a high ticket? If you're an ads agency, uh, sell them the funnels as well. Optimize the funnels at different stages and run ads to all their funnels their membership, their low ticket, their back end, high ticket, one one So uh, I told you I was gonna give you another business as well. And I was wrong about this, is this business model. I made a video a while ago saying that uh, I wouldn't recommend an affiliate marketing business for beginners. I said that it's better to do as a bonus. So you build a brand, you have a done for you service. And I still stand by that one. Uh, cause why just do affiliate marketing, right? But I said affiliate marketing is in a real business because they could change things and you're not making money if they shut down the affiliate marketing program. But here's the reality. If you sell the right stuff that people are actually already buying, remember what I said about the services, same thing, same thing goes for affiliate marketing. So what I would do is if you don't want to have a service business or you want to have both of them, uh, let's say you do what I do and you build sales funnels for creators and for personal brands and experts, let's say course creators, uh, they need softwares to host their courses, their communities and, and their funnels and the website and the blog. And so you just create simple videos. It doesn't even have to be like this in like an expensive office space. It could just be screen share. And you say, here's how to use this tool. Here's the pricing. So what are people looking for? Uh, and you can Google you know, topics and you can do like best research, uh, best content research tools and click one of them. I'm not affiliate with, uh, with any of them, but you click it and you go, uh, what are people looking for in terms of click funnels, high level system, Shopify, active campaign? Uh, what about hosting? And you create videos around what people are already looking for. You can search those things on YouTube. So the title, like what is ClickFunnels? What is high level? What is system? And what is school? Uh, school tutorial, high level tutorial, high level pricing, uh, white label, high level SaaS uh, tutorial. And create simple videos, uh, make catchy thumbnails that are clean, not too cluttered, but see what's working, what's, you know, what people are already doing. And a combination of these both would allow you to reach out to people uh, give them a free training if they need it because you're uploading on YouTube and then you just offer to do it for them to get the results faster. So they want this outcome. Let me just do it for you. So it's faster. You don't have time. I'll do it. I'll do the first one for free. Then I'll charge 500. Then I'll charge a thousand, right? So you'll be able to build upfront capital and long-term recurring revenue with volume. So I'm a, an affiliate marketer and uh, kind of like a side thing. It's not my main business, but I'm making good money, multiple six figures per year, which is an entire career. Like it's more than some people make as a consultant in top firms. It's more than some agency owners make in their entire agency, just passively as an affiliate. So can I say it's not a real business? It's technically not, but it's an income uh, career because you get paid for performance that you do. But the best part about internet is internet and the interwebs, YouTube and landing pages are doing the work for you because you create a video, you have an affiliate link, the landing page of the thing that you promote sells the thing for you. The company that you promote or recommend, they, you know, take care of the delivery and the support. So now you're doing both of them. And so, like I said, I've made six figures multiple six figures from all these businesses. Those are the two biggest ones that I would recommend. The 
the um, service business model and the affiliate, uh, whichever one you want to do first. If you have any questions on this, let me know. If you need my help, links in the description to uh, get a free course or a paid course if you want to get the certification and become a certified funnel expert. We call it Funnel Grandmaster. Uh, you learn all the skills, not just one. Um, offer creation, design, copywriting, how to get clients, funnel agency systems, how to scale from zero to 10,000 to 30,000 a month and beyond, all the things. Uh, we have a community, both free and paid for those programs as well. Everything linked below and uh, I'll see you in the next one.